Okay, so we're watching Kiri on Sigma on Route 66. Kiri is a Diamond 4 tank. This is what they said. It feels like a lot of my teammates get picked early due to bad positioning. I'm not sure I can compensate for this without getting myself killed. Uh, a VOD review of this game would be really helpful. Any advice is, is helpful, especially if this game is lost due to factors outside of my play. I can virtually guarantee that you could do something to improve here. I will say that typically when your teammates quote unquote get picked early, when you're playing tank, it's usually because you're not doing a good job pushing the pace. And if you're too passive, your teammates get impatient or you know try to hold space and they don't get any help and they eventually get picked off. But we'll see what happens. So for starters, you're playing Sigma, right? Good poke tank. Two supports and a Kiriko, very flexible, perfectly fine with you. Uh, Cassidy and, and Torb, Torb on defense, I think is reasonable. Everyone's fine with Torb on defense, actually helps protect your, your Ana as well. This is a very reasonable lineup, not an issue. Um, playing on Route 66, so there's basically three locations that you can be playing from, right? You can play high ground right here, you can play high ground over there, and you can play on low ground. I think typically you're going to start either over here or uh, on gas station and then decide um, from there how things are going to play out. Typically, you virtually always get forced to the road for a variety of reasons, but at least you should be starting from one of these two spots. So, moving forward. Okay, you decide to play low ground. I disagree with this decision. I mean, unless you're going to scout really quickly to make sure they don't dive or something, that will force your position to change. I think playing this far up is incredibly dangerous. All right, they have hog. Like, you can get hooked here, you can get slept here, and then you would lose the fight right away. Barrier initialized. So again, you've lost half your shield, done absolutely nothing of value. You could get hooked right now, right? When, when you put the shield down, there's now a delay introduced in a late stage of Overwatch 1. That means you can't put your shield up again instantly, so the hog could hook you at any moment in time. Basically, right now, you're just kind of relying on reflex to be able to save you from the hog, which is not a good thing. Now, you try to go for a rock. You have not seen the hog throw a hook, which means the hog does, in fact, have hook, right? Does have hook available. So you should die here, right? I, I think, again vast majority of time, even in Diamond, you die here. And this was an enormous mistake. And you die here when you're Alright, getting some fans. Alright. Okay, again, very wide peaks. You're peeking so far away from the corner, you're gonna get super punished for this sooner or later. Okay? Alright, you block the hook. Great. I mean, I don't know if that was intentional or not. It kind of feels like you're in a rhythm of putting the shield up versus reactively, you know, putting the shield up. But fine, you know. Maybe we'll give you the benefit of the doubt so you reacted to the hog throwing the hook and the shield up. Much appreciated. All right, so you go for the rock, right? I don't agree with this rock. First of all, there's no way you can one-shot the, the soldier, and she's way too far away to be able to land, land the next two. Second, that's, as soon as you don't have rock, it allows the hog and the Genji to be much more aggressive on you, and you can't interrupt hog heal, okay? I would definitely save rock here. Very, very important to save rock here. All right. Now, if I were them, I would just walk over you. Um, what's your rock? Hog, this hog is playing super poorly. Like, he's playing so passively and defensively behind the cart, he can literally just walk up the cart and just kill you. Right? Right. Now you have no grasp and you have no rock. Right? You should die here. I, I have no idea how this hog keeps missing hooks on you. <laughs> I just... This is, uh, I don't know if there's a skill difference or a bad day for the hog, right? But... Like you're a giant target right now. He should never miss. Oh, maybe your shield blocked it? In that case, you know, I guess it's incredible, but... At any rate, I think that you need to be very careful this situation. Genji's low. You try to go for the kill. Miss it. You have no shield right now. Right, again, you're running low on resources. You can be... You can, one thing that's important, like, you can feel comfortable giving up space here, okay? Definitely go, don't go this way, because this way you're just going to be open. But you can go to the left here, right? And then start playing inside gas, right? Or go... Give like a lot more space and go to the far to the left, but you don't need to feel like you have to stop this right here necessarily. Right now, oh, okay, big mistake. So, uh, one of the best tips I learned, I play Sigma a lot. One of the best tips that I heard a while back for Sigma, which is before ulting, always throw your shield first, and it will make it way more likely that you'll be able to complete your ultimate successfully because you can always use the heal, shield to cover. In this scenario, you go for the ulti, but you don't have shield. Right, you can't even throw it because your shield died so fast. I think you just buy time here. I don't think this. I don't think there's a reason why you need to be ulting right here. Like, yeah, you might get everybody, but they'll just come back and and respawn. Like, they haven't wasted anything. Like, all you do is buy yourself like another 15 seconds. I think that you should wait for them to commit a little more or be able to more safely get this ulti off. Right. Yeah. Easy hook. Right. I think this grass was bad. Right. Like. What's the, what's the point? Help 
So I would also be thinking you could hear someone flanking on the left, right? There's also the soldier on the right side. You're spending too much time looking at the hog. So now you're clearly feeling pressured, right? Because they're starting to take the space. Like, let's zoom out for a second, right? They're starting to take the space on top left and top right. And you're not contesting either one of those. All you're doing right now is blocking the hog, right? So your team is getting run over on the sides because you're not creating space. Like, see, like nobody can stand here safely and nobody can stand here safely, which means they're all at the cluster in the back here in a tiny spot, which means you're eventually going to lose. Right? Just looking at this lineup, like we just look in the sky and just look where everybody is, this is going to eventually result in a loss because they're going to take the gas station and you're going to die. This is one of the reasons why I'm like, hey, playing on top of the gas station is really strong because at the minimum, I will always hold high ground, right? It's much harder for the hog to hook you off between shield and the cover right here. And the hog has forced to go for really wide flanks, like there, there, or underneath, to try to get something done. But you playing on cover right now, their team is doing the correct thing, which is completely ignoring you, right? They're constantly just pressuring everyone else on your team, and you're not actually adding very much value. Their hog also is an advantage value, to be clear, right? To be clear, their hog is also doing virtually nothing right now, and you arguably are doing slightly more than their hog. But first of all, you can't just say, hey, if I, if I take out the enemy tank out of the game, we're going to win because also the tank hog's taking you out of the game, right? Just by doing nothing. Like you're both basically nullifying each other. That's not how you carry and win games. You need to not only outplay the opposing tank, but do better than that, right? You need to add even more value beyond simply canceling the opposing tank, which is all you're doing right now, right? Which is a big, big problem, right? Again, your tank, your team is just kind of falling apart currently. The thing that I would add here is that you don't always know that you and the other hog are the same rank. Right? So, for example, you're Diamond 4 right now, okay? But there's a wide range of people that could get matched together. This hog might be Gold 2, let's say, in which case they're going to have a Diamond 4, let's say, DPS, and that DPS will be running over your Gold 4 or Gold 2 DPS. So that's why you really always have to be playing your absolute best because you don't know that you and the hog are, in fact, equal players. Very, very important to note. Anyway, so you continue this thing down here where you're not doing much of anything, right? Like, you can probably kill. Oh, yeah, good shots of swords. Good shot. Right, let's go for the kill. Uh, I mean, I understand. I think it's pretty tough to get that uh, rock. I personally would have done it because I would save rock to, to save myself from the, from the hog. I, I don't think you keep your shield there, right? Because it's breaking. I think you're using, you're, you're popping the shield like almost always when you have it up right away. You're not giving your shield enough time to heal. And you can use natural okay. right, you get rock, which is good. Right, she nanos you, right? This is tough because I, I, I think it's really tough as Sigma to get nanoed. I think that you can make big plays or you can whiff completely. It's not a consistent hero. I, I would usually prefer like a DPS gets it, but like obviously you need to do a ton of work right now. All right, going after the here go, I think right call. Don't go for the hog! <laughs> right, you can see stuff is going on that back here. Like that, that um, your, I don't know, what is this? Your Anna is getting absolutely demolished back here, right? The Anna's already slept the hog. Keep the hog out of the fight. Kill everyone else. This is a big mistake. Right? Also, if you're going to do that, after I did two shots, I immediately start rocking. The hog, 100% is going to heal, right? Because he's super low and he just got slept and he's getting shot. Every hog, right, from here all the way to the top 500 is going to heal right away. You should have had the rock already in the air by the time he starts to heal. Now he's healed, there's zero chance you're going to kill him, right? Too late, way too late. Now don't, don't, don't even shoot him anymore. You're not going to kill him, right? The hog right now has 399 health. Okay, you're going to need to land eight shots at him without him getting any healing and somehow within five seconds, which I think is literally impossible for you to kill him. Right. And assuming that he doesn't hook you to, to, to interrupt you at any moment in time. This is not a good use of your time. This is a huge mistake. Actually, you're doing exactly what the hog wants, which is focus on you. Oh, look, the hog has picked your Kiriko. You have still done nothing. Oh, no. Just bounce it. Okay. Another thing about Kiriko, so you go for directs a lot, which is great. Like, your aim is pretty good. But right here, when I see how low this soldier is, just bounce him, right? She's against the wall. Just bounce him right here, and she dies no matter what. The splash is going to kill her. Oh, that was a really weird bounce against the fridge. Right? So right there, that, those two, I would bounce on the ground. Right? Together. Bounce on the ground, like, right here, and then make sh absolutely sure she dies here. Yeah. Right. The issue here is it's too late, right? Your whole team has died before you've been able to do anything. So if we look at this fight, right, your central premise was, hey, my teammates are out of position and getting themselves killed, but you didn't do anything to help them 
like hold on to their space, right? Let's watch this fight back from the beginning. So back when I called, hey, look, you're being flanked on the left, right? So you see the Genji go left, and you're just like, not, you're like oh, I'm sure the Genji's not going to do anything of value. No, I'm pretty sure the Genji is going to do something of value, right? Now the Genji starts putting pressure on your back line, okay? So, like, the duel begins. Actually, let's actually watch this move here. Let's watch this out, right? So again, still poking, still poking, right? This is okay. Nobody's dying. Nobody in your team is out of position, okay? They're advancing the cart. Right, you have the ulti. Now you see the Genji, right? He starts going left. Puts a little pressure. Your Torb's doing a pretty good job deflecting, right? Your Torb's holding the off angle. He, he takes some damage here, right? But he's not being healed by support, so he can't hold this angle anymore, right? While there, Lucio comes with the Genji to help. So, you know, that's tough. Now, again, they start advancing, right? Lucio comes up, forces both of your <laughs> both of your supports off. All, yeah, both support and and uh, your Cassie off, right, by pushing. Genji dashes in, right, tries to take, put some more pressure. You see how much is going on over here? This fight up front is, like, not relevant because what's actually winning the fight is this stuff that's going on top of gas station, right? Your Cassidy's dueling, right? He's trying to stay alive. He falls. Again, your team doing good job staying alive, right? Nobody is, like, being overly aggressive. They're just trying to do the best they can under the circumstances, but they have high ground control. And your soldier is now, the soldier is now starting to take top right. You do a good job deflecting her, right? Again, Genji's under, putting a ton of pressure on your Ana. Okay. Wait, Torb turret, you know, prevents the Genji. Like, your team is doing a good job, right? They are, like, all things considered, doing a good job staying alive. The main issue here is that you're not doing anything, right? Like, what here have you done? from the beginning of the fight until now, that is helping you win this fight. Yeah, you're slowing the cart down. Agree, for sure, right? You're occupying the hog's time. Yes, the hog is an idiot. <laughs> I think the hog is clearly not playing well here. But you are not doing anything that is stopping any of these flankers from doing what they need to do, right? And you're not holding space. If you did everything down here, but on high ground, this would be a totally different story. Because your whole team would be sitting up here, you'd have a Torb turret that's like, you know, a really good spot preventing the Genji from doing anything, and the cart would advance to right here, and then it would stop, because they would never be able to do anything, right? Then the hog would have to go around to try to flank, and you'd be in a much better position, right? You staying on low ground, really bad. Okay, again, they pop beat. Right. Again, nobody in your team has even died here. Right? Nobody in your team has died, even though Beep has been popped and they're starting to they're starting to advance. Okay. Still nobody has died. This feels like great, right? Even you even get a kill. You even get a kill through your Torb right. Gets a kill even through through Beep. Right? Keeps playing well. Right? You get a nano, right? You're getting help from your supports. They're going through, right? Still, see this pressure? Right? You see that pressure happening in the back line? Right? While well, you're just up here messing with the hog. Right? Okay, they're gonna kill your Anna. She did a good job of staying alive. Like all things good, she did a good job of staying alive. Right? She's trying to help you clutch this. Right? You kill, but then you die. Like, I don't know how you could watch this fight and think, oh, this is my team's fault for, for being in bad position or getting picked. Your team did everything they possibly could have to have saved this fight. You did nothing. Right? And it started from being in bad positioning, and number two, from wasting your ultimate. Right? And I would say number three, target priority. Just attacking the hog is not helpful. Right? You, you just need to understand, like, what is actually causing us to lose. If the hog is, like, going on a tear, going around hooking everybody, yes, you have to focus on the hog more. But clearly, the hog is not the problem here. That's, uh, so I was going to say, that's too greedy, right? You know they're at the card here. You know the hog's going to be here in a second. Right? You're like, go for the soldier. Okay, you do one more. Okay, at this point, I would just fire and back up, right? Because, like, there's no point stepping forward at this point. You're so bloodthirsty. And the fog comes up, he hooks you, you're super low, and you're going to die. Right? It's ironic that you that, <laughs> that you say that the team is, like, getting picked and out of position. This is you getting you. Like, what are you doing all the way over here? Right? What do you think is going to happen? Like, they're all here. They're all here. You just got wrecked. No reason. Absolutely no reason for you to be there. Right? Now the team gets staggered, right? Barrier initialized. Well, actually, I don't think anybody got staggered. The team did a great job. Yeah, I think your team... Th yeah, this feels like a diamond game, right? For the most part, people are being smart here. Kiriko gets picked? Okay, that's unfortunate, right? Your Kiriko definitely should not have gotten picked there. Barrier initialized. Right? She just... It's, she's... It's, oh, I think I see what happens here. So Kiriko's up here. Right? She's kind of spamming. I think the Genji comes up and pressures her and moves her into home range. Yeah. So, yep. so 
So Lucio comes up, pressures her, and that's what she was not trying to take a fight. I think she was too far forward to begin with, but I understand why she wants to hold that space up there. So I, I don't think this is like on the scale of like egregious mistakes to like not not their fault at all. I think this is somewhere in the middle. I don't think it was a good good idea for the Kiriko to be this far advanced to begin with, but it's not like she just made a really stupid mistake. The Kiriko, the Lucio put a little pressure on her, which distracted her, which caused her to die. Again, if you had not been dead, this would never have happened. <laughs> But now you are down one, which is going to be really tough, right? So now you're fighting four and five, and you decide, okay, do I pop ultimates here, or what, what do I want to do here? Okay, so I think it's a right idea to push up here to try to help your Reaper take out this, this, this one, right? You want to hold this space? Okay, yeah. I, I think one thing to recognize is that the Lucio has been doing actually a pretty good job overall. And when you hear the Lucio coming, you have to hug the inside right wall to prevent him from knocking you off high ground. This boop, believe it or not, actually provides a ton of value which prevents you from getting close to the hog and landing an easy block. Right. Again, see, if you had been there, standing in front of the hog with shield, with rock, with grasp, that never happens. So that is your misplay, positionally, to let the Lucio boop you off, off the stairs. Again, if you hug close on the inside wall, you're totally fine. Now you're down two, right, down three. I think you just leave. Just leave right now. Yeah. So I would probably loop back through and go high ground because otherwise my team will never be able to get out, right? You see right there, my team will never be able to get out unless I, unless I go help, help them. You're probably going for like a sneaky, like flexi, but like see now, what are you gonna do? <laughs> right? Like you also need help. Sigma is like a good duelist, but like only in some situations, right? And of course, because the Genji pushes you back, the Torb who is trying to get out there, right, to have some impact. The the Torb's trying to get out there. And Torb's like, okay, the tank's not here. So Torb's like, I guess I'm the tankiest guy. I'm going to try to go out, which you know, is what it is. Sees you're in trouble, comes over to try to help you. Okay. Then it's like, okay, now I'm fighting Lucio. And then the Roadhog comes up and kills him. I can't blame the Torb for this. Like, They have to leave the top eventually, right? They can't just sit there. If they just sit there, then you'd be equally upset for your team for not coming out to help you. And the Torb has to come out eventually. That's one of the reasons why I think she just got top and got the team. Right? You could have used grasp slash shield to get out of that, that doorway for them and make space. Right? Also, like you really have to be popping your ultimate here. There's like no scenario where like if you don't pop your ultimate here, you're just gonna end. Okay, good. Right. I think it's a reasonable rock. Right, you didn't land it, but reasonable rock. Alright, bubble dance. Shield dance. Okay, go here, go is good. Alright. There's a pressure on there. I I think. Yeah, I mean. I think it's okay. I think it's, it's okay. I'm not gonna, I don't think it's bother. It's worth it from there. Alright, so your team wins. Fine. I don't know what that rock was. The rock is a super long cooldown. You need to be very careful. So, one thing to think about is, what's my goal here, right? What's, what's my plan? I think that the hog is starting to get kills on your team. And that's really important. So you think, can I kill people faster than the hog can? If so, I can ignore the hog and kill get kills. I would never be comfortable doing that. I think it's much easier to get kills as hog than as a sigma. So again, my, my goal here is to mark the hog wherever he goes on as many possible paths that he can take and prevent the hog from doing anything while generally putting pressure down. That's my goal. So... Like, I kind of understand why you're attacking Cash here. I think I just put the shield up, because you can hear the Genji behind me. Like, you can hear the Genji over here. I think I would be focusing on him, because he's much more likely to die, because the rest of my team is focused on him as well. Right, unnecessary use of grasp. Right, Lucio messing with you. I think reasonable rock, right? I think you missed it. But you're, again, you know you're not tracking the hog anymore, and you're leaving your shield up. You have to make sure if anybody gets hooked here, it's gonna be it's gonna be your your it's gonna be you, right? You wanna make sure anybody gets hooked here, it's gonna be you. That's gotta be your goal. Don't let the hog hook anybody but you. Because he's gonna hit a, hit a hook sooner or later, right? He's very, very close. Another thing right here is I don't know that you should pop rock. Right? This hog is full health, has already used take breather anyway, right? Has full health, has all cooldowns. What is this rock gonna do? It delays him for like a second. Versus, you could use Rock to save somebody from being hooked. You could use Rock to potentially stop a whole hog, right, which he doesn't have right now. You use Hawk to, to get him out of position. Like, right now, this is good position. You're already in his face, okay? You're in his face. Just 
Just play. Just escape. Just escape. See, that I think is a much more reasonable rock, right? Where the hog's like, hey, he's pushing the back line, it's a little dangerous. Now I'll try to rock and get him back. Missing it, I think it's rough, but it is what it is. I think you're holding the shield up too long, all right? You really need the shield. They're not a good poking team other than the Ash. And around this corner, the Ash can't do anything, right? She, If she was up high, I can understand. But over here, only really Genji's doing anything, and the hog is looking for hooks. You want to use the shield primarily here to stop the hog from doing anything. Okay, so you already made a mistake, right? You're like attacking here. You see the hog heading in. Go in. Intercept. You should not be here. You should be here. Right? Like, that little difference is huge. Because from the hog's perspective, he's looking for your back line. Right? Look at the hog. Oh, super juicy. Two supports back here that I can hook and kill. You are trying to kill these people who are being healed by the Kiriko and Lucio. There's no way you're getting any kills in the back line right now. Their goal here should be to stop the hog. Right? Again, you ignore them. Right? Hog goes for your back line, kills, kills the Moira. Once again, your premise, my teammates get picked early due to pad positioning. Is that what happened here? No, I think the Moira's playing in a perfectly normal spot. Right? She's trying to stay on you. Okay. It's nice watching Diamond Kings again. Um, she's staying on you, where she can keep you healed. Right? She's like trying to deal with Lucio. Okay? She fades, I think maybe because she hears like Hook, or just feels the pressure. Right, because her back's turned, I can understand she hears the hog. I can understand feeding her. Right. She tries to stay alive just to be as erratic as possible, right? Still staying alive. Like doing a good job keeping you up. Right? Then <laughs> this is kinda silly. She just walks in front of this and dies. But like, she was gonna die eventually. She already used fate. This is not really your Moira's fault. Right? You're not doing anything to help your back. Like your your team is just getting walked over. They're just ignoring you and walking over your team. Right? You have to intercept the hog there in order to, to give your team a shot. Yeah, I mean, Sigma, Sigma's a tough hero, right? You have, a, have to have a very, very excellent sense of positioning in order to play Sigma well, right? You need to constantly give the other team reason to have to attack you and not put them in position to attack the rest of your team. You're playing, I think, way too independently as a mentality as Sigma. You're kind of like, oh, I'm going to do my thing as long as I don't die. It's not my problem. But that's not your job as a tank, especially as Sigma, where you're not a high damage tank. Like, you can't really burst and do a ton of damage in the same way that Ryan can or even Winston can if he jumps into a whole team or Doomfist, right? And you're not good at disrupting positionings as well as, for example, a ball or a hog. You don't have the burst damage of a diva. You're kind of like an okay at all the things tank, but what you are really good at is staying alive for a really long time. But if your team dies first, you will ultimately end up losing. Again, bad hook. Bad, bad rock, right? You're just throwing it putting on cooldown for no reason. He knows that you don't have rock now. I think you need to be very careful playing this far forward. Right? You get hooked. Right? You set to be aggressive. Ends up being okay, but I think in general it makes it very nervous to play in space like that. I think this is this is the right thing to be doing, right? This is where you're focusing, trying to help your DPS win duels on the side. That's that's how you win. Hog can't really do that. Right? He has to step up and really win. I, I think it's a reasonable try. Like you saw that the hook was coming, right? You try to you try to save your your torp there. Right? I think the key thing here again is I, I don't think that's a good rock. A right because. If you rock him, he goes around the corner, and then what? Like, nobody dies here. Nobody's disrupted here, right? Your Torb is clearly walking too far forward, but I would, if he's going to do this, I would send Shield forward right now. Because I know, I know this is coming, which I think you basically do, right? Basically, this is right? Walk in front of the, walk in front of the Reaper here. This is your job to walk in front of the Reaper, right? Even if you don't Shield, walk in front of the Reaper. Right? You don't want the Reaper to die here. All right, Shield flow. Okay, again, it's coming. So this is where having that, that grasp earlier like really hurts you. Because like you see how you're grasping, but nobody's actually shooting you at all. Like you need like three shurikens there. There's no reason to be grasping there. You're full health. Like grasping at full health in general is just a really bad idea. Right? Because it's similar similar to Zarya bubbles, is like if you bubble people when they're at full health, like teammates, nobody shoots them. But you bubble a teammate who has 50 health, everyone is shooting them because they all recognize that they're low. Same thing for grasp, right? You have to grasp when people are really going to want to shoot you. And then once you get that health, you can then make plays out of it. It's lucky that you don't die here, so you're supposed to wake up. Right? But again, obvious, obvious Genji deflect situation. Right? I would never shoot that from in a million years. Right? The Genji sees that you're low, and then he's going to dash it. Right? He 
dashes in right here, I would never shoot him because I know he's going to deflect. Right? I know he's going to deflect. And I'm slow enough that I won't, I'm nervous that I'm going to actually die. I'm not going to kill him instantly. I saw that he was full health coming on the way in. I'm just melee here. Right? You eat these. Right? They deflect into you. You nearly die. You dropped like seven health right there. There's no reason to be shooting there. The Genji's definitely going to deflect. Okay. Now you have to watch for hook. You do this like awkward angle, right? Right now, it's, yeah, it's a bad move. You're very lucky the hog doesn't help kill you there. Okay. So Genji is blade. So kind of tricky, right? Because Genji's going forward. Do you go for the blade? Do you go for the team? I think, yeah, it's tough. I think that, oh, lifting the bob here is bad because, I mean, it's understandable that he didn't really necessarily know what's going to happen, but he's going to have better angles to kill your team. With. I think not killing Lucio there is massive. Right? Lift, aim. Okay, you're too high. You should fire on the ground, right? A little slow. Right, and a little off target. Right, great idea, right? Help the corp, try to get that kill. Right, block that. Good, I think this is good right now. Right, you're not hitting shots, but you're, you're doing the, the right thing. Yeah, good, right? Let's prevent the hog from doing anything. They pop B. Right, I think it's four on four right now, right? You traded a DPS, very winnable. I don't, and like, was your Torb out of position? Sort of, but he also got a kill, so he traded. So it's not the worst thing, right? I think that's pretty easy. I wouldn't consider that like, out of position. I think flanking Torb is reasonable. So this is another good example where you're not doing anything of value up front, right? The real fight that's happening is to the right. Let's, let's go back five seconds, okay? Let's watch, right? This over here is what's gonna cause you to lose the game. Right? The fact that they push up the right side and move forward, that's what's going to cause you to lose game. You're sitting in front on the cart is doing nothing. You should have been playing right side, like on top of truck, the whole time. As soon as you guys started moving backwards, you should have navigated towards truck and help hold this. Because then what's the hog going to do? He's just sitting here, like on the cart. It's like, yeah, the cart will move forward, but if you kill the rest of the team, then you go and you kill the hog. No problem. Right? You're focusing way too much on the hog. Way too much on the hog. Right, good rock. So, funny enough, this is a situation where I wouldn't throw a shield. Because I don't care. I, the hog hooks me, great. That makes it more likely that I'll kill him before he can get back to his team. I actually would want the hog to hook me. I'm not afraid at all that I'm going to die. Right, you're full health and his team is dead. Again, I would be advancing here. I don't know why you're not advancing. It's like strange that you're... That it's 5 on 3 right now. Right? You just saw a 2 in the kill feed. Keep advancing right now. Don't slow down. Don't play the shield. Walk forwards. Right? Far multi. This is like your moment to shine. And you're not taking advantage of it. Now I know, hey, the team's going to be responding pretty soon. I got to play a little more carefully, play this corner. Again, like, yeah, you hit the rock, but like, who cares? Okay. Again, you're also letting your shield get way too low. All right, now you get hooked. All right. Again, having rock right here would be much better, right? Have a, have a potential opportunity to get a kill with you and right, you get hooked again. All right, go for the reactive rock. Right. Again, you see you're putting shields up so early, but like, why do you need to put the shield up? You just got hooked, so you can't get hooked, right? You can't get hooked, you're being pocketed by your by your supports right now. You do not need a shield right now. Oh, actually, sorry, right after this, right? Right now, you didn't need shield. You're totally safe. Right there, when, after you got hooked, I can understand, but right here, you don't need shield, right? You're also playing in the middle of the road instead of playing cover on the left side or the right side. Dangerous grasp, right? Because presumably the hog has hook. I don't understand why the hog doesn't hook you with the grasp. I think the hog just doesn't realize that it goes through grasp, right? This is an easy hook. A diamond, a diamond. I would expect to get hooked here and dead. Right? I don't think. Right, All right. So once again, notice what their team is doing. Their team is being smart, right? They're pushing the right side. They're collapsing in on your DPS. Okay. Yeah. Is the torp too far forward? Yeah, probably. Or it's May now, right? So actually, that's May, right? It's fine. She's like, she's like playing face. That's fine. You, you need to lean more towards the right, right? She ulties. You're like trying to get this kill. I understand. I guess it's okay, right? I probably go try to kill somebody inside who's frozen, but that's fine. Right? Go hunt him down. He dies. That's great. So, once again, you finally really get punished, right, for stepping forward foolishly. I don't even know why you bother shielding that, right? Just step back. Don't let the shield take damage. Great. Finally, it happens. <laughs> you grasp, and then you immediately get hooked. And now you're in their team, and you don't have grasp. This should result in your death. Oh, wait. What happened to your grasp? Oh, you just 
just get you just get grabbed and you just get grabbed. Oh, you know, you get grabbed while you're rocking. That's really what what, what excites me. <laughs> because when I play Hog and a Sigma tries to use rock just in the middle open, he's dead. There's no reason to be doing that that random rock out of nowhere, right? You should die for this. You have grasp, you're gonna stay alive a longer. Right? Oh, the team saves you, right? Team doing a good job, right? Cole Lessons is reactively recognizes that you made a mistake, he's gonna try to save you. Right? The teammate saves you. Good. Right? Good job of the Mora. You pop an ulti super far away. I think your idea here is to try to prevent the cart to, to like to rather um, rather to take off the cart so you can win overtime. This early, I th I would never rely on that, right? Maybe it works, but I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Like, you have to wait for, like, 15, 20-plus seconds into overtime before it will move so fast that that would result in the win. This is a bad idea. You shouldn't have gone for the hog. You should have gone for the back line. Also, you shouldn't have gone for the back line. Like, technically, I know it has, like, a near-infinite range, but doing it closer is much more reliable. And you can Getting absolutely shredded. Yeah, gonna kill that. Okay, help your get your reaper rather. You can't. Can't deal with the mob. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that this mechanically, I don't know. There's a lot that you could have done differently here. I think that your biggest mistake is using multi. Ooh, very good. Cool, I also don't see that your team did anything wrong. All right. At this point, I'm not gonna bother. The fight's staggered. It's gonna, it's gonna be over. All right. So let's watch offense. You decide to go hog. Okay. You're frustrated. You know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get picks myself. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't think Sigma is strictly wrong, but like, if you want to do this, it's fine. Let's see what, let's, let's see how you do. All right. So it's hog again. You're constantly looking for picks. That's a bad hook, right? Right away. That had no prayer. You hit the left wall with this because you're popping it. Like, you're going too far to the left. Now you don't have hooks. So you should play safer. Reload. Right, Genji uses the flex, which is great, so now you know I would put it right there. Right? I think he went for it, which is reasonable, but miss it. Okay, so right now Hog's out playing you, he's gotten the kill, you haven't. Okay, chill, right? Just reload, just chill. Okay, you got the mercy, great. Okay, that's fine, good. Alright, even. So, let's push the pressure. Right, they, we have less damage, but they have less healing, right? They have a lot less healing because they have a Lucio, right? I, I think you need to be very careful about this corner. You are not registering that high ground, right? Is that Ash who's going to absolutely melt you with a head box? I think that you turn left here, right? And or like back up while this is happening to prevent this from occurring. Because when you hook and the hog is ready, he just hooks you right back. And that hooking, hooking second there, a good tip that I heard, heard for, for, for Roadhogs, right? In the Roadhog duel is whoever hooks first loses, right? Because if you hook first, Okay, you get to pull, get one pull, and then you shoot. You might get a right click first, right? So let's say right click with some damage, then hook, then a left click. The problem is their tank, their Roadhog, gets to left click you in the face, which does way more damage, hook you, and then left click you in the face again. So in Roadhog duels, always try to hook second, unless your team can help you kill them, right? You went for this naked hook right here, but the problem is their Hog also had it available, and it's a very, you're stationary, right? Very easy hook for the Hog. Big mistake. Right? Hog's not playing you so far. Again, I also don't know that anybody in your team feels out of position, right? The one hook the hog get, I mean, that happens. Hogs will get, hogs will hit hooks. Okay, easy hook for the Lucio. Yeah, good. Right, this Lucio is super aggressive. You gotta punish that. Right, it'll also force the Lucio to play differently. So you take pressure from your team. Good right clicks. Right, I want you, you should be advancing right now. Good, you can go over the top. Okay, one thing to keep in mind is your team is further back right now. Right, your team is gonna have to move the cart. They're taking the position, right? You do not want to get hooked by the hog here. I know you're, you want to get a kill here, but you do not want to get hooked. That's silly. The Moira's throwing. I don't know what the heck's going on there. <laughs> That's probably what it was upsetting you. There's no reason for the Moira to be doing that. But either way, they're still trickling in, so it's still winnable. I would have thrown that hook. Right? You saw the hog get purpled right there. Right? He's a giant target. Right? Initially, when he comes out, I don't necessarily throw that hook. Okay? But the second that happens, I throw the hook. Okay. Yeah, so here's the problem if you're like looking way too hard for, for the supports right in front of their hog and like forgetting that their hog can hook you. Right? Now they're collapsing your backline in a period of time. Like, the thing is you also ate nano here. You might think, okay, I survived here, but again, like your team devoted a lot of resources there and you did nothing with it. Right? They popped the nano, you did zero damage with the nano. The nano's there just to keep you alive because you made a mistake walking into their whole team, right? And, uh, okay, great, you killed the hog. The fight's already over. 
think it's over. Yeah, right there. Like, I would just be giving up already. Just because you're not going to win from here. Oh, what the heck? You guys capped it. Oh, it's because you, you moved the card forward? Is that what happened? Oh yeah, you moved the card forward again. I don't know if that was intentional or not, and they definitely should have stopped that. Like, they easily could have stopped that. So, I would say that is very, you're very lucky to have gotten away with that. Their team was up on people, and she had Bob, and she just popped it too late. Slash could have just walked the card. Yeah, very, very lucky to get away with that. I don't think it's a good tire, but... You hear the hog right now on your right, you're not registering it whatsoever. Right here, you heard the hog. You heard the footstep first footstep on the hog. I'm looking to my right. Like, yeah, you're looking for the Genji, but like what if the hog hooks you? What if you die here? I know you're going for the Genji, but like you need to register the fact that that was a bad path to take. Right, you're peeking now, but you don't have hog up, which is so right? I think you should only be peeking when you have hog uh, hog ready. Right, hook. Oh, you missed it. Right. Yeah, you will way overcompensate that. On the... right. Your Anna's getting killed from the right. I, I think. I guess you drop here, yeah. Right, Anna dies. You're gonna hook the hog, but what's your plan now? The hog is breather. Right? I think he has breather. Yeah, he has breather the whole time. He's in no danger. Zero danger, right? Whenever a hog's at breather, no no danger whatsoever. Yeah. Don't pop him. Right, you're already down. Okay. Oh, okay, you did so many things around there. Okay, so let's assume from here. You're low. You have to shoot, hook, shoot right now to prevent yourself from dying. And you're too slow on it, right? Right when that... I think even just hooking right away while you're still up in the air was also a reasonable thing. To buy yourself more time. You're just way too low. So I would say, again, mistake by you. You wasted ultimate, and, you know, after that, you had kind of some opportunities to maybe turn around, and you didn't. Why are we stopped? Hey, not going for the hook is reasonable. That's a tough angle. I think you're too far away to hit that hook. Yeah, you're just too far away to hit that hook. That was my instinct when you threw it. I was like, I don't think you can actually hit that. But it's very close. I understand the idea of it. I think you just had to be moving a little bit farther forward. Okay, good job, right? Go up and try to intercept it. Stop shooting him when he's taking you to take a breather. Like, he does no damage. There's 50 percent damage, but like, he's being healed by this team. Right, just save your shots, because you need that ammo. Unfortunate that you can't do anything about it, right? Like, imagine if you had full ammo there instead of trying to shoot the hawk. Right? So when the Mercy comes up with the res... Yeah, you don't have hook, but just right-click her. Just right-click her twice here, right? And she dies. Lose your low. So Bob's out. It's a bad Bob though. I don't go for that hook. That I don't know why you went for that hook. Your team has killed two. All right, you're up one. Okay, you've traded. Right. So now you're even right now. Three on three. Bob's still up. Reasonable. I think that's Rich does a good job dodging that. Again, your Anna handles you, right? You need to breather, but he's still too high. That, the problem is he's too much health there, and you don't have enough health. Like it's good. Like I'm thrilled to hog if you hook me there because I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna kill you, right? Bad move by you. I don't think, I don't think you're, you're you're responding well to the game position, right? The good situation of just like the fact that the hog is a lot more health than you and it's getting supported. You just don't have that kind of support right now at that, at that moment in time. Which is not to say your support has not been helping you out because they have been helping you out. Good hook, right? Really, really good hook, right? You should be able to win this fight from here as long as you play smart. Right? This should be a one team fight. They're doing a good job, right? They're, they're pulling back because they already lost one. I'm looking for this hook right here because I know that they're, that's going to happen, right? Okay, great. Now I go for the hook of the hog. Oh! The hog just ate. 
Yeah. Right? They just ate that full tire. He got bumped. He's moving predictably to the right. You throw the hook right here, you get the hog. Right? You get a kill. Get the Lucio. Okay, fine. Take it. Nobody's moving. <laughs> That's rough. Alright. So. You heard something to the left. You want to go over and help your Kiriko. Right? Don't let her die here. Alright. Good job. Cool. So now it's one. Probably an okay coach. Okay. Really great counter to, to Blade. Whole hog. Alt tracking, recognizing that their Genji has Blade, you can use Whole Hog to completely shut down Blade. And I, you, you like do it, but you're like way too late. You're out of position, right? You have no idea where the Genji is. You're just popping it, like hoping for the best. But at this point, the Genji's already in. Like you're like, you know what? I might as well use Whole Hog for something else because there's no way you're gonna do anything valuable with this with this. Whole hog, which is okay. so, yeah. I think that you can try to hook there to save your. She has fade, hopefully, right? She can at least get out of this if you hook. I don't know why you hook there. Even if you hook and they end up killing you for it, fine. Like your whole team staggered in anyway. Like you're just gonna be fine. Okay, so good hook. Stepping forward now. I would also consider going far left. You're going main a lot. Like you're you're like way too heart bound. You're looking for Lucio, who's been proven to be easy kill. Yep. Once again, easy kill. You're up at three. Right. You know the hog doesn't have a hook. I'm trying to land my hook before you hog. I'm probably just hooking the hog here, honestly. Yeah. Fresh on the hog. Good. Uh, for the record, right clicking to the head of Bob, super effective. Oh, throw the hook! Right? Because I'm afraid that the deflect or something else will result in, in, my, in my DPS dying, right? He's back his turn. You throw the hook. It's crazy here not to throw the hook. I mean, that's like a crazy flick hook attempt. I don't think that's a good idea. Alright, your DPS are doing well. Alright, their team's collapsing. You saw the hog coming out of spawn. You need to be careful here. You know the hog's tracking you, right? So you have to be careful here. Yeah, I think it's good. I think you're just like, hmm, where's the hog? Okay, you see the hog? This is the worst possible angle you could have taken. Because if you get a hook right here, the hog just hooks you and then you die. Why don't you just go high ground? Go up the stairs and go high ground. Right. It's good that you got the Genji, right? But I think that that was very, very dangerous. The hog was looking at you, which is what he should have been doing, then you die. Right? And you win. Right? They do beat, which is good. Right? That's fine. You beat the force. Reload. Right? Look for look for targets you can kill. Don't just spam randomly at the hog. It's like not super helpful. Look for yeah, exactly. Look at all these other juicy targets, not at the hog. Anyone but the hog. <laughs> Stop looking at the hog. Right? Bad. Yeah. At this point, this might be Ugh, slowing down here. Okay, I mean, that hook's not, not close. The problem is you're under a lot of time pressure right now. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Oh yeah, nobody gets to the card. Okay, so what... What is my advice? I would say number one... I don't think your team was out of position. <laughs> I, For the most part, other than the, that one Moira death, I think your team played completely normally in reasonable positions. Um, number two is that you yourself are just not doing a good job controlling the space that you need to be in. And you're way too cart bound and focused on kind of just like mirroring the opposing tank instead of playing where you need to be. Number three, I think your ultimate usage on both Sigma and Roadhog was poor. Yeah, I think those are probably the the you know I'm there's obviously a lot of micro details I covered, but I think for the most part that that's probably uh, the gist of it. Hopefully, that's helpful.